what's the latest on David Murphy? Um, unfortunately, um, probably the Altrincham game. Uh, before the Altrincham game, David started feeling his, his knee again, which was, you know, which was a long-term injury that he was coming back from. Um, I think the, the dry in grounds probably haven't helped. Um, we noticed in training that he, you know, he was he was managing it a little bit. Uh, and on the, in the game against Alty, you know, it was probably a little bit more noticeable than it had been because um, he's, he's usually rock solid and he's usually, you know, reads the game very well and he usually almost strolls through games at this level. Um, and we, you know, we, we said after the game, you know, it wasn't really a typical Dave Murphy performance and we were a little bit concerned then. And unfortunately, it turned out to be the case and, and his knees um, reacted badly since then. And he's obviously not going to be available for us this weekend but the worry is there's a, there's a good chance he won't be available again this season so you know awful news for for david first and foremost uh, and both clubs so um you know things change in football and hopefully a week's rest might do it or um but we're just waiting to hear back from uh, from mansfield on the next step be a shame to lose david because he's had a stabilizing influence on that back four absolutely him and sean uh, created a really good understanding together uh, i think he's brought the best out of newts as well uh, Newt has gone on from strength to strength since Murph came, and um, you know it's a real it, in, a, in a squad where in a squad where we've got um, plenty of experience, but as I said, you know we we all we needed leaders as well. Uh, Murph fit that bill and he came in and done exactly what we hoped he would, but unfortunately for him, the the stresses of uh, you know playing week to week after being after being out for so long um, may have caused his knee to react badly. It's uh, transfer deadline day in the National League. What's the latest? Any news? Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's getting a bit tight to the line now. But hopefully we might. Uh, I think, unfortunately, I don't think David Murphy's going to be uh, able to play much of a part again this season, which is really bad news for for him mainly, um, and obviously for both sets of, of uh, clubs. Um, but there's a young lad. There's a young lad from Barnsley who uh, who we're having a look at. Um, I've seen him. Play in the in the 23s. Um, he's really young, but he's, he's he's sort of been groomed for their first team, and it might be something that beneficially help both teams. I'd, you know, obviously with with losing a right side centre half like Murph, uh, obviously me looking towards next season and potential season long loans, um, it could be a good fit. So we're just hoping that might get over the line. So this player would be another centre back. Yeah, I mean we've looked at um, we've looked at three or four, maybe more. Um, opportunities to get uh, forward players in, but there's just nobody that a clubs are willing to to loan out, and b um, that I think will make a massive difference that are available at the moment. So um, we've got Maka came back in fine form, which I, I hoped he would. We've got um, Jake Wright, who I hope comes back and does the same thing. Um, you know, we've got Kempster, we've got York, we've got Burrow, we've got Parkin. Um, We've got uh, Harris who can play up there, so you know we we haven't we're not sure. I just you know I just thought it would be a good opportunity at the end of the season to look at two or three younger players who might be an opportunity to look at next season for season long loans and, and hopefully um, just create relationships with, with good clubs you know like Sapanzi who are flying this season um, and we'll see what comes of it. Are you happy with the size of the squad and the other options that are available between now and the end of the season? Yeah, I mean that, that's you know that that's my squad. Um, you know, obviously, I didn't bring anybody here, but the, 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 the squad I've had to work with, they're a good squad. They're a good bunch of lads. Um, they've they've picked up uh, they've picked up a lot since when I got here. You know we. We aren't where we want to be. Uh, there's no doubt about that. You know, we've lost games recently, even uh, that I'm, you know, disappointed in. But it is a work in progress. You know, I think when I looked at the squad and I looked at where we were after the Chorley game, um, I think we were five five points outside the bottom three. Uh, now we sit here, you know, a few games later, you know, 16 points clear of it. Um, I think eight or nine away from the playoffs, but we can't afford any more slip-ups. Um, and you know, there's been definite improvement. And, uh, you know, I've always said about any manager, uh, but I said this, you know, last season at Gates. I think anybody would like to be judged on on a full, having a full summer, a full transfer window, and a full pre-season under the belt. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to um, seeing what I can the rest of this season, assessing everybody fairly, and um, and then you know I'm looking forward to getting into the summer as well. But there's still a lot of points to play for yet uh, this season, and. Everybody's got something to play for because if anybody wants a future at York, if anybody wants to be part of what I'm planning to do, um, I can't knock off. A couple of days on now from uh, the, the game in Manchester. 
Have the players been quite positive about that that result in training? Well, I think they just worked the socks off, and I think we saw it a day on Thursday. Still, you know, um, not just the day after, the day after, the day after is uh, still people feeling the effects of how you know the work rate that they had to go through that second half. And there's a there's a couple of little niggles, there's still still a little bit of fatigue in, in everybody's legs. So we had a slightly easier Thursday than usual today. Um, and probably do a little bit more on a Friday than we usually do. But you know, at this stage of the season, um, they're not going to get much fitter. I think from when I've came in to now, I think they've certainly improved fitness-wise because I think I've been, you know, I think we've stepped up the, the tempo in training and, and dem demands a little bit. But as I say, with six games to go, it's almost all about getting them as fresh as possible for every game, and that's that's what we're trying to do. How do you view the the remaining six games now? Still plenty to play for. Yeah, I mean, while we while we've got a chance of the playoffs, we've got to believe that we can keep winning. And uh, you know, we've had a couple of draws. One was a disappointing draw. One was a, a good draw, if you like. Um, but we'd have preferred four points or even three points to two points. So we've gone a little bit behind where we hoped we'd be now. And I think, to be honest with you, I don't I don't know how many games we can afford not to win if we've got any kind of chance at all. But if that gets to the case where it doesn't happen and we can't get the playoffs and we've left it too late, um, then there's still plenty to play for, absolutely. There's still people playing for contracts for next season. There's still, I'm still trying to make my mind up on people. Um, and you're always being judged when you play football. You know, everybody, every time you step onto a training pitch and every time you step on, certainly onto a match pitch, you're being judged not just by me and the fans, but by people coming to watch you, potential new uh, clubs for next season. Um, so, you, but trainers, trainers like that as well. I, I'm, I'm constantly and Mickey as well, constantly looking and judging body language, who's doing what, who, who I think's knocked off, who's still going flat to the boards, um, and they're the ones, you know, they're the ones that will be, be successful with me. You mentioned where the club was when you arrived, uh, the Charlie game. Look at the improvement over the last uh, couple of months, and would a top ten finish be regarded as a success? Um, I think it would be. As I say, I think. Um, I think we have to realise that after the Chorley game, after Stockport and Chorley, um, we were dangerously close to the wrong end and even closer than I thought really. So the first port of call was um, to pull away from that and to get as far away from that as possible. Now I believe you know, 16 points um, away from that is, is a huge improvement. But to take that next step, uh, we need to be beating teams like... Um, we need to be beating teams like Alty, uh, we need to be beating teams around us like Bradford when we play them and that's the next step for us. So uh, that, that'll be the, uh, that'll be the, and Boston as well, you know, that'll be the next step to us making that surge forward to start beating the teams in the top 10. I think we've done well against the teams around us, I think we've done well against the teams below us, but we're, to make that next step we need to start putting a foot to the boards and beating the teams that we're going to come up against between certainly the last four or five games. It's Geisley uh, next. Uh, another team that's still involved in the, the fight for survival. Are you expecting a similar sort of game to the one we had on Tuesday night? Yeah, they played really well on um, on the midweek game. We had them watched from our scout, and he's a very good uh, judge of player and judge of uh, performance. And he said it was, you know, the worthy winners. Uh, looked very powerful. Two very strong centre halves. Very good centre midfielder who closed things down and um, stopped them playing. And a real handful up front. And. I've played against them pre-season this year and I know how powerful they are, so they'll be a big, powerful team um, and looking to make it two wins in a row. We have to win the game, um, so we'll be going uh, looking at it from that respect, so it should really be a belting game.